today is the opening of Palm Beach Modern and Contemporary Art Show. I'm standing right outside of the convention center, where just in a few minutes, iconic British photographer Harry Benson, who turned 90 a couple of years ago, is going to cut the ribbon and start the show. Let's go and see. In a separate VIP area, Benson was presented with Life Achievement Award. My name is Nick Kornoloff. I'm the fair director and founder of the show. On behalf of Important Markets, I'd like to welcome you to the fifth edition. Tonight is an extremely exciting evening for us, and I am honored that we will be able to honor Mr. Harry Benson. I know I deserve it. <laughs> I've got to go all the way to Florida from Glasgow to get my own food. I'm going to go back to Glasgow and I'm going to show to the back. All right, then. That. <laughs> the first thing I'll do is when I get home, I'll show to my dogs. <laughs> And Gigi Benson is clearly the driving force behind the couple. Um, Harry has been part of our gallery since the beginning for almost 25 years, and he is considered to be the greatest living photojournalist um, and it was a well-deserved honor. He's 92 years young, he has had a, over a 60-year career in photography, um, he's worked, he's photographed every first, every president, every first family from um, Eisenhower forward. He's been he was the photographer that was actually on the airplane with the Beatles when they flew over from Europe. He's had an illustrious career. That's true. Um, what, maybe several highlights from today's uh, exhibition? Absolutely. Um, the piece to my right is a great photograph that he took. It's called Andy and Bianca, and it was taken at the factory in New York, and it was you know, Andy Warhol was really considered to be one of the greatest voyeurs of our time. And when you look at the photograph, it's double frame. And Andy is in and out of focus, and Bianca is in and out of focus. And Andy's being spied on by Harry Benson. That's interesting. And what about that piece with no, Muhammad Ali, right? That's um, Muhammad Ali with um, Dundee, his trainer. And it's really considered to be one of the great classic photographs of Muhammad Ali of all times. Around the corner is the pillow fight, and that really is a quintessential Harry Benson photograph. It was taken at 2 o'clock in the morning in 1964 at the George Sank in Paris. This was before the Beatles had ever come to America. Harry was with them. He had been sent by his editor from London to photograph the Beatles in Paris. And they found out at that moment their uh, manager, Brian Epstein, came in and told them that they, he had received a wire, I want to hold your hand, was number one in America, mm -hmm. and came back with a second wire that they wanted them to come to be on the Ed Sullivan Show in the United States. And it, it's a, it was a seminal moment for both because for the Beatles it meant they were coming to America, and for Harry Benson, who was a Scotsman, it meant that he was leaving Europe and coming to the United States also. And really he never, he traveled back but that became his home from that time forward. Do you know a little bit about the history, how he made this, he made the Beatles to do this fun thing? <laughs> do the, the pillow fight, you know, he, if, if I remember the story correctly, um, and Harry's full of great stories, he um, had seen them at one time fooling around having a pillow fight. So when this momentous moment occurred, when they found out that they were invited to come to America, he said, hey guys, we should celebrate. Let's have a pillow fight. And they kind of joked around and all of a sudden, I think Paul hit John with a pillow and then the whole thing ensued and it became this kind of fun, crazy experience. But really, the idea of 
You know, the Beatles were always full of fun. There was kind of that humorous side to them, and Harry was great at drawing that out in his subjects. To have Harry honored, he's a legendary photographer, and this was really a well-deserved honor for him. I also know that some of the photographs were sold out right at the opening, right? Yeah, <laughs> Actually. yeah there, were a number of, there were a number of photographs that were sold opening night. We always do very well with Harry's work. It's so recognizable. The whole front entrance of the fair is dedicated to Harry, so it's really that also is a great tribute to him. But for us, he's a very, very important part and a mainstay in our gallery. You know, when we started, it was all small black and white traditional work. But documentary photography has always been a love of Holden and myself, and Harry is the most important documentary photographer. Thank you very much. You are welcome. <laughs> From Palm Beach, I'm Jane Greaves.